So hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, video, I'll be explaining the problem closest desert cost. So this problem is not that difficult, but it can be a little bit confusing uh, because of this part lower one. So anyway, let's briefly discuss the problem. So what the problem is saying that you have to make a desert and for a desert you have to buy a base and a topping. Okay, so you have been given base costs. Uh, that is in this vector and topping cost that is in this vector okay and you have been given a target that your, your purchase should be uh, closed closest to this target okay so uh, per in the purchasing part i can buy uh, at i have to buy at at max i have to just definitely buy one base base okay and uh, and then I have to buy toppings and for each topping there are only two in quantity so I have to buy zero one or none of each topping and then uh, I have to search that that the cost is nearest okay so uh, since the constraints in this video are uh, pretty low it's it suggests me that uh, I can generate all types of combinations of purchase and then from all these combination I will choose the one whose difference to from target is the least okay so what the idea is going to be that i will generate all sorts of costs that are possible using uh, any given data and then i will uh, store it and then i will take the one which is closest to the target so my first uh, uh, the first part to solve this problem is going to be i will make an ordered set an ordered underscore set int costs so what this will store is the all possible uh, costs that uh, that are possible and i will make a int difference is equal to 1e9 so this difference will store the minimum difference that is possible from target for any particular uh, cost that uh, for any particular purchase combination so now what i am going to do is that i am going to make an uh, amount is equal to zero variable then what I will do is that I will traverse from so since I have to choose only one base cost uh, base so I will just traverse through my just let me uh, rename this to BC and TC because it's very long name so int i is equal to 0 i less than BC dot size i plus plus so I am choosing uh, basically I will be choosing my base con uh, bases one by one so to calculate further calculate all the combinations i will write a function called solve so in solve i will be passing my topping topping cost tc and amount amount for that particular base cost will be amount plus bci comma uh, comma what zero zero is the index of the topping cost it will start from zero and target okay so uh, now what i will do is that i will make this function void it will be a recursive function to solve vector int ampersand tc comma int uh, amount comma int index comma int ampersand target okay so since it is going to since i am going to generate all sorts of combination uh, this will be a recursive so a recursive has two parts a base condition and choices okay so choices so just one second let me close the window okay. so uh, what the base condition is going to be so the base condition is going to be basically if index is greater than equal to tc dot size uh, so that if that is the base condition if i write a uh, uh, if I arrive at the base condition, I will do something. So I will. What I will do is that I will explain. So uh, my choices. What can be my choices? So my choices can be solved. So I can I can choose not to buy any topping. So that will result in amount being same, and index will increase by one. Uh, in index will increase by one, comma target. Uh, my another choice can be that I can buy one topping of that particular type so what will that uh, from that what uh, my amount will increase by one so tc index my uh, like my amount will become increased by tc index price and again my third choice can be 
control C control V uh, into 2 uh, just a second into 2 so these are my all possible choices and then I will return so what is my base condition is going to be so after making all these choices I will reach I will cross uh, the topping topping vector and uh, once my toppings vector I have processed all the topping prices all the combinations what I will do is that I will store the amount that I have arrived at into my costs uh, an order set so cost dot insert amount and I will also update my difference so that how close is my amount to the target so that will be difference is equal to uh, minimum of minimum of difference comma absolute of what amount minus target so this is the part and now once I have uh, completed all generated all the combinations so what I'm going to do is that uh, if uh, costs dot count uh, what uh, target minus difference is equal to true so for example just imagine that uh, for example the target is 10 okay the target is 10 and the minimum difference that is possible from generating all sorts of combination is 1 okay so in that case if 1 is the com uh, uh, 1 is the like difference then there can be two possibilities that there is some cost of 9 available or 11 okay so in this uh, uh, case i will prefer to return 9 because that is the lower one and it has been given in the problem that if there are multiple uh, costs that are at the same distance from target then return the lower one so that is what i am doing if so in this case i will return what target minus difference and if that is not uh, the, that 9 doesn't exist then 11 must exist so in that case I will return target plus difference so that's the problem let's check for any syntax errors so it is fine and now let's submit it so it's accepted so you know this problem is simple uh, initially I was thinking that the uh, target uh, uh, my possible cost combination can't be above the what uh, the target so that led to uh, my wrong submission in my first attempt but you know you should think about recursion and you should you should not be afraid because since the constraints are very less you can go exponential it will be 3 raised to n uh, into m uh, m into 3 raised to n time complexity so if the problem is super clear please consider subscribing this channel and thank you and have a nice day